Today on Power for Life, Breakthrough. Yes, favor for breakthrough. Matt Sorger continues his message on God's favor that brings you your breakthrough. That's right now. Somebody show us an answer. We are in need of a Savior. We need an awakening, a fresh anointing. Open our eyes again. Show us the power. I want you to get ready to go to a whole new level of breakthrough in your life today. On today's program of Powerful Life, we are talking about the supernatural favor of God. And when God's favor is on you, breakthrough happens in your life. Now go to Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God, I'm going to start at verse 1, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Everybody say, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he has anointed me. Come on, say it like you mean it. He has anointed me and qualified me. That's exactly right. God has not only anointed you, but he has qualified you. You know what that means? That means God has arisen on your behalf to shut the voice of the accuser, to strip off your old garments, to clothe you with rich garments, to qualify you for the purpose he has for your life. God is shutting the voice of the accuser. And he's giving people a revelation of who they really are in God that their iniquity has been removed from them, that they are now clothed in rich garments, and the accuser has no place. God has qualified me. He has anointed me to preach good tidings, sent me to heal the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to those who are bound. See, that's exactly what happens. God opens up your prison so you can go and open up other people's prisons. Verse 2, to proclaim. Now look, God hasn't just anointed you to preach. He's not just anointed you to heal. He's not just anointed you to set people free. He's anointed you to do something else. He's anointed you to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. He has anointed you to proclaim the year of His favor and the day of vengeance of our God. You're anointed. I want you to understand this. You are anointed to declare the favor of the Lord and the vengeance of God. But when you look at these two things, it is a whole year of favor. It is one day of vengeance. And God has given you authority and anointing to decree both of them. A whole year of favor and one day of vengeance. I proclaim it's going to be a whole year of God's divine favor on your life. A whole year of favor, but one day of vengeance. Favor on you and vengeance on the devil. Because I want you to understand something. The day of vengeance is not God's vengeance on you. It's favor on you. It's vengeance on the adversary. Oh, I don't think you heard me. Favor on you, judgment on the adversary. Favor on you, vengeance on the adversary. Everything that the devil's done against you, he's going to pay for it. He's going to pay for it. John 15, the Holy Spirit is coming this year as a spirit of truth. John 15, not just spirit of freedom, liberty, 
but truth, because truth is what brings freedom. John 15, verse 26, calls him the spirit of truth. John 16, verse 8, we were in a prayer meeting. One of our intercessors prayed this scripture this past week, and I want to proclaim it over you today. Are you ready? John 16, verse 8. And when he comes, the Holy Spirit, the anointer, the one who anoints you, when he comes, he will convict the world of its sin and about righteousness and about judgment. He will convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment about sin in verse 9 because they do not believe in me God will convict the world the Holy Spirit will convict the world of sin because of unbelief in other words unbelievers who are bound by sin God will convict unbelievers in their sin God will bring conviction of sin and as people are convicted of sin they will turn to God that's one work of the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth comes in. Look, when the spirit of truth is on your life, conviction will be upon you. And not only will conviction be on you, but other people around you will feel that conviction too. If people are comfortable in their sin around you, something is wrong. People should get uncomfortable in their sin when they are near you. See, the problem is, sometimes in the church, we don't look that much different than the world. So, you know, we can be best buds with people in the world, and they have no conviction of their sin. They're cursing in front of you, they're drinking in front of you, and who knows, you may be even doing it too. I know, no one in this room, praise God. No one in Matt's Auger Ministries, hallelujah. But look, I mean, you hear things in the ministry circuit. You hear about ministries, you know. They go out clubbing. They go out to the bars and drink. They go out and they do all sorts of stuff. And they're in ministry. No conviction. When the spirit of truth is on you, there'll be conviction of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God won't let you get away with anything. God will make you so miserable you'll have to repent. That's true. <laughs> the Holy Spirit in you will hate sin so much that he will make you so miserable until you finally just repent and get right. He will convict the world about righteousness. I love this. Because I go to my Father, and you will see me no longer. Because I go to my Father, in other words, Jesus is saying, because of my finished work on the cross, I died, I was buried, I rose from the dead, and now I go to my Father. Because I go to my Father, I will reveal righteousness. You know what the Holy Spirit does? The Holy Spirit doesn't just convict you of your sin. He convicts you of your righteousness. Which means when you cross over from that place of being in sin to being in Christ, now the work of the Holy Spirit convinces you of God's righteousness in you. Hallelujah. You get the revelation of God's righteousness in your life. So you are no longer walking around always sin conscious, but you're walking around God conscious. You're walking around righteous conscious. You're walking around experiencing fellowship with God. How many understand the difference? Because there's one place over here where you're always sin conscious and you're always repenting of sin, repenting of sin, repenting of sin. And then there's over here where the Holy Spirit convicts you of the righteousness that is in you 
And you begin to live different, talk different, commune with God, walk with God, and all of a sudden now you are God conscious, God conscious, God conscious, Holy Spirit conscious, anointing conscious, glory conscious. And your whole reality is different. You're not, you're not under condemnation all the time. You're not under guilt all the time. But you're feeling free and forgiven and filled with God and filled with joy and filled with His presence. That is the reality that God has for every believer. That is the reality. So Holy Spirit comes, convicts of righteousness, and He convicts of judgment. Hallelujah. That is my favorite part. Judgment. Because you know why? Verse 11, about judgment. Because the ruler of this world, Satan, is judged and condemned and sentenced already is passed upon him. When we talk about judgment, this scripture here, the judgment, the work of the Holy Spirit, the judgment of God, that judgment is on Satan because he stands condemned already. You as a believer are convicted of God's righteousness. Satan comes under God's judgment. You come under God's favor. Satan comes under God's vengeance. So this year, the word that the Lord has for me to speak to you this afternoon is that God is arising in your midst. He will be a wall of fire around you. He will be the glory in the midst of you. And he is arising to release judgment on every adversary that has come against you. God wants you to experience breakthrough in every area and in every level of your life. Not just in your life, but in your church, in your neighborhood, in your family, in your city, in your nation. On this prophetic teaching series, we have four messages on what it is to operate and live in the keys to supernatural breakthrough. Uh, we talk about how to remove all the obstacles to God's glory and presence in your life. We talk about how to possess the gates of your city, how when God moves and God pours out and God releases a breakthrough, how do you sustain that breakthrough and hold that territory for the glory of God? I know this teaching series will be a, a great blessing in your life. Order your four CD set today with your love gift of $30 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. Is your life in a constant spiritual battle? Are you tired of taking two steps forward just to take three steps back? What we all need is to focus on the things above as we live and walk on the earth below. Many don't have a true revelation of how to break through a spiritual warfare. God doesn't want you living defeated. You can live out of the realm of His glory and experience a sustained victory. In this teaching series, Living from the Third Heaven, you will learn how to live from where Christ is seated, above all powers and principalities. You will receive revelation of your identity in Christ and will know how to govern and rule from the courts of heaven, seeing every work of the enemy destroyed. Order Living from the Third Heaven, a four CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. And the Lord said, Matt, I anoint you in even a fresh new way for a double portion of the Elijah anointing, and you shall be as Elisha, signs, wonders, and miracles. Your hands are going to burn with the fire of God. And the Lord said, it's even going to astound you. There's Hi, a new I'm Barbara weeping Yoder, coming. and I want to recommend to you Matt Sorger Ministries. You know, I've known about Matt for three years and I'm getting to know him now and I love this guy. He's a revivalist. He attracts the presence of God. He's everything that I love. He loves the manifestation of the glory and, and he's just plain a lover of Jesus. And those are the kinds of ministries that I love to recommend. Full of integrity, full of God. Don't miss 
Matt Sorger, and Power for Life. And you know what I love about this whole thing? In the process of iniquity being purged from you and Satan having nothing in you, you get real authority to help set other people free. You really do. Because Jesus even taught us, he said, take the plank out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. In other words, God is saying, once the stuff in your life is dealt with, you will have power in my house to see others healed, saved, delivered, set free. You will have authority to decree favor. You will have authority to decree vengeance. You will have authority to, to decree judgment on the adversary. And this is it in a very simple scripture. The Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the evil one. Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And every time Jesus is manifested in you, the works of the devil are destroyed. Hallelujah. You know what I believe? I believe you can be so filled with God that sickness can't touch you. I believe you can be so filled with God that germs and sickness, if you are following the natural laws, if you're taking care of yourself, eating right, sleeping right, I mean, if you just wear yourself out and catch a cold, well, then that's your own fault because you didn't take care of yourself. But if you're following the natural, you know, we spiritualize everything. Oh, the a devil of cold is coming against me. No, you just haven't been sleeping for three days, so your immune system is worn down and you caught a cold. It's not always a demon. Sometimes it's the demon of stupid. Oh, I bind these demons of fat in Jesus' name. <laughs> fat is not a demon. <laughs> fat is the result of that chocolate cake that you love. You cannot cast fat out. But if you're walking with God, no, I really believe this, that you can be so filled with God, so filled with the Holy Spirit, that your body is so illuminated with God's presence, your mind is so illuminated with God, your heart, your spirit, your soul, your emotions, everything, so illuminated with God, and nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you in the physical realm, in the emotional realm. I mean, people can be nasty. And normally you get all hurt and offended and uh, but your soul, your emotions are so filled with God that you're just like, I love you. <laughs> People that would irritate you, you're just like, I love you. Because you're just so filled and permeated with the Holy Spirit. Your body's so filled with light, so filled with the Holy Spirit that when sickness tries to touch you, it can't touch you. Because it can't get through the wall of fire that's around you. And you know what? I believe that wall of fire doesn't just go around you. It goes around your whole family. God could put a wall of fire around your whole family. So that Satan can't touch your kids. Come on now. A wall of fire around you. Imagine that. Imagine what that looks like in the spirit. Fire all around you. It's like one of those superhero movies. It's like just fire all around you. You just walk and it's like fire. And everywhere you go, it just burns up every demon around you. I saw this little picture the other day, a little cartoon. And it was like a, one of those bug zappers and two little bugs. And the one bug was like, no, don't fly into the light. And the other little bug was like, oh, but the light looks so pretty. I want to fly into the light. And the other bug's like, no, don't do it. I mean, that's what happens. You walk into the room and all the little bugs, they're like, ah, the light, the light. Don't fly into the light. But 
that's, that's the glory in the midst of you, a fire all around you, judgment on your adversary, favor on you, authority to rule in God's courts. I mean, I'm talking about power in God. To loose the captives. To loose the captives. To loose the ca Power to loose captives. I'm sick and tired of seeing people for years in church carrying the same demons. It shouldn't be. It's a travesty. It's a travesty that we have such refined programs and churches filled with demons. It's true. Not just people filled with demons, but leaders filled with demons. It's true. My personal belief, I think everyone should have at least one demon cast out of them one time in their life. I believe that. I do. Some people get so weird about deliverance. They're like, oh, demons. Oh, deliverance. Ah, you know, I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. I can't have a devil. Well, yeah, well, you probably have more than one. But... As you go through the sanctifying process, God kicks them all out, and you get free, and it's wonderful. It's glorious. It's awesome. I don't get weird about deliverance. You know, it's not a big thing. It's like, you know what? Everyone came from a fallen place. Everyone came from bad lifestyles somewhere. They did something wrong, whether it was a lie or something or whatever. And, you know, they got to get cleansed out. What's the big deal? Get cleansed out. Become who God's called you to be. Amen. Get weird about it, just cast it out. But we have to cast it out. We gotta we gotta use our authority. We gotta be vessels of God. You understand the condition that um that you understand the condition here is that we got folks even in leadership positions for 15, 20, 30 years still carrying walking around with the same demons in their life. Because God needs people who will know their authority and will know how to use it and who will have the planks removed from their own eye so they have power to remove specks from other people's eyes. Don't go trying to cast out a demon of lust if you're watching pornography. Because you'll probably get a few more, praise God. I'm telling you the truth. Don't go casting spirits of anger out of people if you're angry yourself. You know who you are. Well, well, you know, it's true. I mean, just the statistics, the statistics alone say that 50% of the church watches pornography. So if we were to divide this room up, it's like this whole half of the room watches pornography. <laughs> and this whole half doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. No, I break that off. I bind that in Jesus' name. No. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, you know, I definitely do not speak that over you. Amen. <laughs> but I'm just saying. So, you know, we come to conferences. We hear about, you know, we want to have power with God. Yeah, we want to heal the sick, cast out demons. Woohoo! And meanwhile, we got 20 of them ourselves. Church. It's not hard to get rid of a demon. Just repent of sin. <laughs> repent of sin. Turn to God. Ask him to cast the thing out of you, and you will throw up. <laughs> it's that easy. You don't even need anyone else there. Just... Sit on your couch, 
Jesus, I repent of sin. I turn away from it. I command this, I command this unclean spirit, get out of my body. You throw up, you're free. Amen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> If you feel nauseousness coming on, just grab a pail somewhere, amen, you'll be fine. Is your life in a constant spiritual battle? Are you tired of taking two steps forward just to take three steps back? What we all need is to focus on the things above as we live and walk on the earth below. Many don't have a true revelation of how to break through spiritual warfare. God doesn't want you living defeated. You can live out of the realm of His glory and experience a sustained victory. In this teaching series, Living from the Third Heaven, you will learn how to live from where Christ is seated, above all powers and principalities. You will receive revelation of your identity in Christ and will know how to govern and rule from the courts of heaven, seeing every work of the enemy destroyed. Order Living from the Third Heaven, a four CD teaching set by Matt Sorger with your love gift of $30 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. If you're watching today and you say, hey, we would love to have Matt come and do some special revival, glory, prophetic healing, breakthrough meetings at our church, at our conference, I just want you to know that I'm here, I'm willing, to serve you in any way that I can. Uh, if you're watching, maybe your pastor would be interested, or if you are a pastor, you'd be interested in having us come in and partner together with you to see the glory of God break through in your church and region. We're here for you to see God's glory touch your church and region. February 7th to the 16th, Matt will have an extended trip in Hawaii. February 20th to the 23rd, Matt is at the Wagler Leadership Institute in Vernon Hills, Illinois. March 6th to the 8th, Matt is at the Spokane Healing Rooms in Spokane, Washington. Come experience the glory. Each one of us is in a process of divine transformation and change. You know, God is always at work in your life, and I want to encourage you, even when you don't see God working, He's always working. Holy Spirit on the inside of you, doing a deep work in you, even at times below the surface where your eye can't perceive it, but you are being transformed, and you are going from breakthrough to breakthrough to breakthrough. I really want you to experience every breakthrough God has for you. The Word of God is a key. Getting principles and truth and transformation of our mind, our souls, our emotions through God's Word is really a strategic key. So I want you to take advantage of the resource that we're giving you today, that we're offering you today, keys to your breakthrough, because this resource is going to give you the keys that you need to see your soul, your emotions, your mind, every area of your life totally transformed in God's breakthrough power. We need your power. Change your world. Partner with Matt Sorger Ministries.